at Brandon Mar. Thanks very much for joining Fax TV. Brandon, just learned that you've signed a new contract until the end of next season. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that decision. Uh, no, well, it wasn't really that much of a hard decision, to be fair. I'm really enjoying my time here, and I think that Mecca and the qualifiers this year is really um, set us in good step for next year. Mm. Obviously, it was your breakthrough season last season, yeah. but do you feel that your performances have, have come on a lot more this oh, year? Oh, yeah, de definitely. I mean, last year, it was the same as sort of the first year I came out. I missed, a, I missed the first 12 week due to a due to an injury, so I missed half the season kind of thing for the first three months. So I played every, I played in every game this year. It's, it's done as a, with the world good, playing week in, week out. Mm. Do you feel that's that's been the main benefit to yeah, your performance play, yeah, playing that regularly? I feel myself, I really came on as a player with, with, all, the, with all the good players around us and the and the coach and staff and then just playing week in week out it's just been really good for us mm. and obviously in terms of signing Halifax why did you sort of make that decision yeah well as I said it's, it, it wasn't a hard decision it was a pretty easy to, decision to be fair because we're, we're a hard working group of lads and it, it suits my style of player mm. so yeah obviously you were nominated for championship young player of the year that must have been a fantastic feeling for you oh yeah definitely Maybe second year um, it's, it's always good to get get nominated for these awards and stuff. So yeah, happy with that. In terms of sort of individual attributes in your game, obviously that running yeah. from dummy half is yeah. something that a lot of fans talk about. Is that something that you you're working on constantly in training? Yeah, no. Well, it, as I say, I, I play on the back of a real good pack, like people like Bob Fairbank, Dan Fleming. They make my my job, mine and Ben K's job that 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 bit different. So, so, so they're they're to, they're all the players. Mm. Obviously, you mentioned Ben K. There, obviously the yeah. the other hooker at the club. Yeah. How, how does that sort of partnership work? Yeah, well, as you can see, we, we're two totally different types of hookers. But, but Ben's more a bit more direct and a bit more with the ball, and he's he's, he's a bit smart, but he's a t he's a tough player as well. So, and then I sort of come on and speed the game up. We we, just, we sort of work in tandem with each other. Mm. And obviously, I know Richard talks a lot about the reserves, and yeah. that's obviously a system that you came through yourself. How important has that been in your in your development? Oh, it's been massive because well, I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for Martin's work in the in the reserves. I mean, when when I first left left Cass, I didn't really have a club to go to. I, I didn't know what I was going to do, and Martin sort of met us, and we had a, we had a chat, and he just said, "Look, just just come and play at reserve, come and play at reserves, and you, there's a pathway into first team." So I just came and put my head down, and, and then. Ended up staying, I've ended up being here three years now, so mm. yeah. Obviously, I know you mentioned previously you you enjoying you know the team spirit of the club. Is yeah. that is that a real important factor? In oh, it's massive. I mean, we all we all rock up to training every week, and we 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 all we all just love each other's company, and we're just happy happy to be here. And I think it shows that on the pitch, the way we play, we all just enjoy each other's company. Mm. Obviously, another top four finish for the club yeah. this season. Obviously, changing the league structure for next year. Yeah. Is the aim again just to, to make that top five and you know be competing for a potential? Def definitely, that's, that's the aim every year, isn't it? You, you want to be up there, and I think that obviously it's showed the, pa the past so we've got in the top four the last three out of the four years, so we're, we're obviously good enough, and we're one of them teams that can be con contesting for them higher place. And I don't see why we can't get in the, the top five and aim for the top, to be fair. Mm. And in terms of individually, do you sort of set any goals for next season? Or obviously, I know we haven't yeah. completed this one just yet, but. Uh, no, not really. Just, just sort of, just knuckle down in pre-season again, and then just come back in with the right attitude, and just hopefully have, an, have another season like this where I'm put, where I'm, where I am a regular, and hopefully injury free. Mm. And obviously, I know you've picked up awards from you know the fans yeah. and 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 all, all sorts of other places. Does that how does that feel for you uh, for you personally? Yeah, well, like I say, I, none of that really. Well, obviously, it's nice, and I'm really privileged about all them things. But I just turn up every week and just try and do my best job for the team. And, Hopefully that's, that's good enough. Brandon, thanks for your time and uh, congratulations on the new contract. Cheers, mate. Thank you.